Hi everybody, good evening. Uh, I'm continue doing my security cyber security 111. Now I noticed in this course some people have an issue with the network concept, especially the tenant park that is having issue to get uh, this is supposed to be straightforward, but let's go straight quickly. So this room bought uh, network concept. So what exactly we learn? IOSM model, if you did CompTIA, Network Plus, Security Plus, these things will be straightforward for you. Uh, first of all, the OSM model is known seven layer, the, the physical, the data, the network, transp. This is a free room, so let's not too much spend uh, waste time on it. Why is not working for me? It sometimes uh, throws. Uh, this is, I think, yeah, it's a free room, so guys, you can read about it. But let's let's go. So we have a physical session. This is this is the down when the the physical. This is a router. This is a network card. This is network transport session. This is like application HTTP and all of that. Physical layer, as I said, yeah, that one's data link layer uh, vendor who build yeah data link is where the router with the switch switch the switch uh, you have the I think the switch I'm not I'm not doing uh, let's say something wrong network segment yeah uh, example layer to include Ethernet uh, Wi-Fi address and six by okay their address called MAC addresses uh, distinction the MAC address that usually when you do uh, Wireshark uh, network layer, that's the way the router sit down, so uh, layer 3 is, uh, I think layer 3 is what we call, uh, not frames, uh, I think, uh, I forgot what, we'll check it now later on, uh, yeah, basically this that remind me of the CompTIA rooms. Uh, the transport layer is enable end end communication, communication between running application different hosts, web browser and all of that. The session is where the, the session uh, RPC, what that one? Network file system, remote procedure call, okay. Presentation layer is ensure data is delivered and this is like a virus standard used to presentation layer. This one, yeah, this one is a big It's good to know them, but don't get confused too much about them. They have a MIME application layer. That's where all these protocols, layer seven protocol. That's why sometimes we say the firewall, layer seven uh, firewall. So because it it can uh, check things. Here's the the summary. So layer one physical layer, electrical option wire signal, Ethernet. Uh, or IPsec for security, I send the ping, the UDP, TCP layer 4, NFS, RP, the image and all of that, the MIME type and then the other protocols, the well known. Now which layer is responsible for connecting one application to another? Huh, the which layer? End-to-end -end communication and data segment, so transport layer, usually that's what they connect, if we go uh, enable end to communicate between run application different hosts. Your web host is connected to try like me. So what's the question again? Which layer is supposed for connecting one application to another? So it should be four. Your answer for my should be layer followed by the number. Okay. I think it's layer four. Transport layer, the one that connects things together. Which layer is responsible for routing packet? It's, it's where the router. Router is always, I remember this always from the days of uh, CompTIA. Layer, layer 3. Uh, and then in the OSA model, which layer is responsible for encoding the application? Uh, encoding application. JPEG and MIME. Ah, that's encoding application. Uh, presentation layer. Uh, sex, where is it? layer 6 presentation layer so that's cool and then which layer is responsible for transferring data between host and the same network segment um, this is for the down one uh, transfer data between hosts in this network segment so this is like a switches Ethernet and Wi-Fi, so it's later layer two. 
then TCP IP model. Yeah, this is the this is not well. Uh, the layer seven is the one. Uh, the OSI is the well known. Now we head of our SMOs, the TCP ICP transmission current protocol. If my days come to remind me, this is not uh, usually the new one. If I'm t and they are different. This, what is the image? There is no image. Oh, this is one. It's, uh, it's it's combined layers. So they start physical. Uh, this is the OSA. It has an application, only four application transport, internet layer, and link layer. And then you have uh, the way they correspond. In. So the application layer is the same protocols, transport. This one, guys, don't don't spend too much. If you study for computer, it's fine. You can go network on all of that. But this thing is good to know general knowledge so you don't get confused when you start using BERP or Wireshark or something like that. Mini not doing the textbook show TCP IP mode as five layers instead of four. I remember it was four, not five. They put this application transport network link physical. Okay, uh, let's try if we can ask the question to which layer does HTTP belong in the TCP IP uh, TCP IP model? A TCP should be in an application layer if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's uh, should we put the name uh, all the or the the full name application layer? Then uh, what's how many layer of OSI model does the application layer in this model cover? What? How many layer of OSI model does the application layer in the TCP application layer cover? One, two, three. If you compare to the OSI, so it's a three. If I'm mistaken, so then I put uh, this one. So hey, I forgot how to do them. This one, I remember when uh, you do Cisco CCNA security. No, uh, CCNA one when there was one uh, the split exams. Yeah, you need to remember to do the um, to the subnet, and I forgot now how to do it. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, if config give you this is if config this is a uh, well, Linux yeah so we can play here. If config you have your IP, which can be typed as IPAS uh, uh, address show okay. The host that's the IP the broad uh, the subnet and the broadcast. So broadcast is always two five five. Then we have a zero there. Yeah, it's good. Let's say IPAS show. Uh, this is all the trihack me and dockers and all of that. The host address you know them from because the 192 and 68 minutes are local IP, it's not uh, these are public and private. The, uh, the RCE you know the private uh, IPs like start from 10, 172, 16, and 192, and Most of the time we use this usually. These are private ones, so you can know them. Uh, before moving, I'll command me more in the private IP address range. Otherwise, you me you might see an IP address such as uh, or and try to access it from a public IP address. So, so this is local uh, uh, entry level uh, local IPs. And then what's this uh, routine? A routine, of course, that's what happened inside the router. If you look in an uh, IP, these things. If you do Cisco so network Compia, Compia Network Plus, you you will know uh, more about them. For now, if you're just starting, you don't confuse too much yourself. Which of the following IP address is not a private? Not private is key. The 49 clearly is not. Uh, they don't start with 49 because we know 10172192. And then, which of the following IP addresses is not valid IP address? Yeah, you can see straight at three five. They don't go more than two five. Uh, this two five, you know the the because the uh, two by two by two by two is four two by uh, four by two is eight sixty four so one twenty. You know that binary uh, the, the two because that's how they work. So you can't have more than. Uh, 255 so this one is dead end then the protocol of course UDP usually like in um, um, TV streaming or okay, because it doesn't need uh, if uh, you don't need the confirm uh, receive end acknowledgement uh, 
five that's the total uh, the six five five that's the total uh, usually the port would well known they have the TCP in you know is connected oriented so there's a three and shake not like a UDP this one you make sure that the packet arrive it doesn't rep rep arrive uh, transmission the idea is simple if you're watching it uh, streaming and one byte or something in the, uh, in the streaming doesn't work that's fine it doesn't uh, stop the whole things you don't need to every uh, like one one dot that's why UDP use for that type of things three-way night shank is a TCP what is the promised number of port numbers the port number we know it's uh, 65,535 so you can guess the thousand uh, depend of uh, try hack me math they they like to uh, do it down I suppose to do 66,000 but okay so let's accept the thousand there then encapsulation let me try if I remember the encapsulation uh, before I prepare another key concept, this concept refer to the process of every layer in how the how the things. I remember this is in IP second Cisco encapsulation is such a concept to allow each layer to focus on its intended function. Okay, so uh, every layer you add something to it until you have the la the last one. So everybody. Uh, application data transport network packet guys you can read it yes so it's a free room the life of the packet okay uh, on track message page you enter the search with the browser HTTPS then it counted TCP to the application layer from the top three and shake then the IP layer as the source of the IP you can see the adding each one down the router remove the link layer had an add trailer spec to the IP destination that's the routing protocols okay on Wi-Fi within what will uh, an IP packet be encapsulated uh, in the Wi-Fi because it's in the, the bottom ones um, and Wi-Fi to get in the frame because it start from the bottom so that's the frame what do you call UDP data unit that encapsulate the application data? What we call it? Yeah, this one I remember. I still remember stuff from uh, UDP. You call it datagram. This is computer, computer questions. What do you call the data unit that encapsulate the application data sent over as TCP? TCP, I think it's AI. Yeah, There's a segment for TCP. That's what we call it. So this is a good. Now we have this. Uh, where some people got confused in Telnet. Telnet is not secure pro protocol, by the way. Eco server on the tag. Let's make sure. Uh, let's play uh, nmap. There was another room on map. Let's let's my st. No no, not st. I think st. Let's, let me. What's the IP again? Let's get the ports to make sure. 1.79 no I don't want ST let's get, give me the minus C minus SV uh, let's go to 4 what the hell? oh 59 Uh, okay, there we have. Uh, they tell us there is an eco server, daytime server, and we have a web server, and port 8037. Uh, you can, yeah, we can play around this, but let's wait for. Uh, uh, okay, uh, let's see if uh, we got the same what they told us. Yes, there is a port 80. You can see that there is a light HTTPD server. Oh, these are also is a port 22, the SSH. We have a 23 is the Telnet, Linux Telnet, running in 23. We have a 21. Oh, this is also, we have an FTP. Oh, uh, we have port 13 and port 7. Oh, I'm interested that there is an FTP there. Let's see what we, uh, can we hack something? Let's try to hack. Uh, anonymous, uh, no, anonymous. 
Anonymous. Let's see if try hack me. No. There's nothing. Oh, there. Okay, there's nothing. So it's empty. Uh, quit. Uh, okay, goodbye. So we know there's a <coughs> an FTP there, but not interesting thing there because now we're doing the telnet. So our um, our uh, uh, tel telnet port seven. In seven, they said, "Okay, uh, hi, hi, hi. <coughs> How are you? Nothing. Okay, press buy. You oh, know, no, goodbye. Uh, bye. No, oh, it doesn't. So you uh, quit. Control C. Why is not quitting? Control plus uh, the strange key." Control plus the search key. Okay. Oh, you go back to connect. Let's uh, and then c that's the control and the, that what they call that key. And then we have the port 13. What we have in port 13? What? Connection closed by foreign holds. Finally, uh, request page ten. Uh, no, in the terminal below, we notice that the connection closed once data time return. Oh, he give us the time and he closed. Okay, that's fine. Let me. Uh, I want to check something. No, we have. There's some people they have issue with it. Let's uh, test it there. So let's see. Port is eighty. Let's follow the same steps. So some people they have an issue with this. So. Uh, you go down, then you c you just write uh, the get. I want to get um, HTTP uh, one dot one, and then we have the host telnet dot triac me. If you spell double, like you get all information. You get uh, we get uh, the goodbye, and then we get also the. Uh, where is that? Uh, I just see it now. What the hell happened? Where uh, light at uh, the server? Oh, you can do this because it's port eighty. You can just say, I can just do this. So. Because even then it's a web server, you can just do curl HTTP and call curl on it, and you get uh, couldn't connect the server, but we we able to steal the 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 master. Let's see if I can. Is it open from the web? Oh, what's wrong with you? Uh, why you can't go HTTP? Oh, not 80. Remove the 80 there. Find not font. Why is going file? What? 101159, uh, 10, the IP, yeah. Yeah, you can also access to it through the web. So, because it's, uh, it's a server, so port 80, you can play with the net, that's fine. You can also play with the with curl or you want to turn it the issue you think the mis uh, mistake people did they you need to press double press here click click uh, and uh, when you when you write a uh, host name you click 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 and i think that uh, you may have to press enter after sending the information in case you don't get response so when you press once and you keep waiting just press another one okay uh, okay, well, now we're done. So yeah, as I said, you can get uh, straight the browser there. So let's close that, and we have that. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. If you have question, let me know. And thank you very much.